Hello everyone, and here I'm with another LEGO Star Wars solo review, and this one is on the Imperial Conveyance Transport. And that was just recently released. So on the front of the box here you see LEGO LEGO Star Wars LEGO, the solo border, and picture of the set in action, all the minifigures there, Disney logo, and age recommendation is 8 to 14, set number 75217. It has about 622 pieces. And then flip to the back of the box. See it in a more parked position. All the features of it. Uh, Lego.com slash Star Wars. And, yeah. and now to the booklet. See, same picture as on the front and everything. On the back, we on the online survey, all the pieces that come with the set, add for LEGO Life, and then it in the AT hauler, which I will also be reviewing, add for all the summer sets and the minifigures that come with each set, and the last steps. First of which is another version of Han Solo himself. So, at least this is a good updated look of it, of him. Like there's the like it's with the fur coat and also with the goggles and all. And also holding a small pistol there, which is nice to see. And then here he is from the back with his double side face and back printing. And next up is the new version of Chewbacca. But also with that goggle printing. But other than that, everything else is kind of the same as in the Castle Run Millennium Falcon in the set. And he's holding some unique form of blaster. Or it's a blaster with a binocular piece on there. Which is kind of good. And there he is from the back. Oh wait, hang on a sec. And next up is Imperial Gunner. Or, well, with the, uh, with his torso printing and the collar piece. With, or clock collar piece, which does look good, but the helmet of which kind of about the same as most Death Star Troopers and everything. And there's his back printing. And then take off that helmet. And you see also kind of the same as all the Death Star Troopers but like with the little speaker thing and everything. And last but not least is the range troopers. Whoops. Yeah, range troopers. First time as minifigures. They were kind of like, just like the same deal with the Praetorian Guards, is that the only way to have it was as buildable figures, but first time as minifigures. And yeah, until you get two of them in this set. But, this, but the helmet piece, kind of similar to that of the uh, Rogue One sh uh, short troopers and everything, but a little bit different and all. But at least has the golden visor and all. And same cloth neck piece as the Imperial Gunner, but, but in white. And as the blaster in white, which is quite cool. And remove the helmet, and it's the clone face, the annoying, angry clone face, which all the troopers are having. And Lego use plain black heads that are not the clone troopers. It use this face only for the clone troopers. There's in yeah. Whatever. And then there's his back printing as well. <laughs> and then on to the set itself. So the first part of which is of what I would call the engine. Oops, 
little messed up there. But there we go. There's of what I would call the engine of it. Because, you know, it's like a train. So this front part. So, so at least, like, a lot of good snot. So, like, some alright snot all around. So, got those brown piece acting as a greeble and this part from the top. Good use of all of these, like, tiling pieces. And I see there's a little tread in there. Or little tread pieces in it, and also one of those hatch pieces, which can open up and reveal some like hidden cargo space, so or something. And then a little farther down, I see it's one of those large uh, tile pieces, but with a sticker on it. And there's a lot of big stickers in this set. Can lower down and put a range trooper in it. But like good use of all these like uh, sloping pieces, which will be the same with the AT hauler. Then the other side kind of the same, but the back part of it. And you wonder what this little rod's for, or rod with a ball joint on it. Well, you'll see that a little later. It has, and there's one of those one of the round uh, plate pieces that has a large back wheel for these. And it does roll very well. And I guess that's about it with that. And lastly is the like car carriage car. So as we can see. Like also a lot of good stock techniques, but a lot of exposed stuff. But actually, it's kind of a good thing, I guess. So you can like put a, your range troopers onto it. Like if you remember this scene that they were doing, so. But a few big stickers on it. Well, symmetric both sides. But on the top view of it, you can like lift this up and stand someone on a couple studs on there. You can lift the door up, and there's the little coaxium crates. And the uh, Also, so a couple little opening ways, both here and in the front area, to like stick and put a mini fig on it, probably. And also, uh, also on the top is this little turret and where you can seat your Imperial Gunner or anything onto it and it can turn all around and you can like tear it up and with the uh, 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 two jumper stud pieces can stick onto the engine part as well like so. Also, little thing with the opening doorways. Oops, hold on. As well, with those opening doorways, is with this one, the AT hauler set. Can I hook its air? Areas onto it and lift it right up, then haul it away. But this is which a lot different than in the film, which if you remember that. But also on the bottom part of it, just not much. But at least you get two little uh, wheel pieces. Well, kind of like they did with one of the Moloch's land speeder set from earlier. And also rolls well. And you wonder, and how to connect it is whoops. Lift this up and put it over that rod. 
and they're pink, well connected. <coughs> but kind of shame that they get only about one card to this. Because maybe they should like add make a let there be maybe they should have had another card in it. But whatever. But although kind of like the like Harry Potter train sets do. And, but which brings us to the final verdict. So the overall verdict is. Well, I think this is a pretty cool set. That at least it's a train in Star Wars, which we haven't seen yet. Haven't seen from Star Wars. And also kind of pitiful that there's only about one card to this, but if you're but a little thought for a set is, like, let there be a, a set that is just a car of it with more range troopers or yeah and storm troopers and all uh, that would attach to this perfect for army building and everything and if you're watching this lego please do that but at least it has good rolling and also finally range troopers and everything and if you adored this part in solo then go ahead and pick this up and that is it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.